What's up, guys? It's your girl, Curl Wonder, back with another episode. Um, now, I'm, I'm just going to jump right into it. I know that you guys have heard about this whole Shea Moisture epic fell of an ad campaign recently. And I just wanted to weigh in and, you know, kind of give my two cents and ask you guys what your thoughts are. So... You saw the ad campaign. If not, go check it out. You basically see a redhead and light-skinned curly girl. She might be, I don't know, she might be Puerto Rican. Probably not. Who knows? But, you know, you kind of get an idea what she might look like. Um, long, super curly hair. Um, and then you got this redhead, and you pretty much see her for the rest of the campaign. Um... <laughs> It's such a fail, such a fail. But what I can appreciate from Shea Moisture is that they had that quick cleanup of a follow-up uh, apology on their Facebook. So kudos to the public relations um, department for getting on that. But it's almost like, how did you get here? Like, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed because they're way too big of a brand to really have this epic of a fail. And it just you just wonder how many yes men and women are in the room. Like, <laughs> no one said, like, yo, yo, <laughs> this might not work, you guys. Like, where was that voice of reason? It almost feels like it didn't exist. So, of course, you know, I had to dig a little bit deeper into the situation, and being that I'm a journalist, you know, uh, so I did a little research, and I wanted to find out who was responsible for this. Who is their brand strategist? Like, how could they have gotten this so wrong? Well, this is who it is. Me, Christian Kayam, you guys. She's the brand strategist for Shea Moisture and Nubian Heritage. Yes, the blonde-haired wife. And this is not about, I'm not, I'm all about this, you know, human race thing. I'm really that person. But this is, when it comes to business, I mean, how? I and mean, you wonder how they got it so wrong? This is why. Because none of us are in the room making any of the decisions. Like, I even have to wonder about the owners of Shea Moisture. Like, how did you get this wrong? How did you allow this to happen? Like, who told you that this was going to be okay? Because this is so far from it. I mean, it's almost, it, this This is the comical aspect of it. Because it's like, <laughs> woo, just, just hilarious. Just, just. It, you can't make this shit up like you just can't excuse my French but you just can't so um that picture was actually attached to that um LinkedIn uh yesterday so they've since taken her photo down that was attached to her profile so I had to you know put them together separately but yeah that's her and she was the one that gave the green light on all of this and you know, it kind of answers the question as to why this even happened. Now, before I get, you know, all hype and up in arms and in a rant, I will mention this uh, really good point that one of my mentors brought up, um, Jay Stone. You can reach her at jstone.com. She's a really badass brand coach and has 22 years of marketing. And she really, you know, just kind of laid it out. You know, they're trying to reach different demographics. You know, African-Americans are their primary dem demographic, so they're trying to branch out, which we're all for. Nobody wants to hold you back from that. It's just the fact that they, the way that they went about it, they just went about it so wrong. Like, <laughs> how you gonna forget about your day ones, basically? Like, we put you on the map. Like, <laughs> so yeah, that's where the problem is. You can't, you can't, re you can't, abandon the people that put you on in the first place like that's kind of almost like a unspoken rule really um and Shea Moisture is really regretting every single bit of it I mean did you even see that apology was like <laughs> like oh wait hey guys yeah whoa 
immediately after the slap. Like, whoa. <laughs> and they did, yo. They they botched this one. And another very valid point that uh, my mentor brought up is that if you're still buying PepsiCo products, you're still supporting Snapchat or even Uber, she said, these are her words, not mine. <laughs> have several seats, then play musical chairs, and then have another seat. And, I mean, she makes a really valid point. Like, if you're not going to boycott these other brands who have blatantly disregarded the African-American community, and not even just us, just overall by, you know, poisonous us with food, you know, and the shit that they offer us as food. I'm sorry, I'm cursing, because I am, this is <laughs> kind of a sensitive subject. But, um... Yeah, you know, Snapchat, who the CEO said he only wants this for rich people. Like, you know, you have to feel some kind of way about these things. And so if you're going to go so hard at a brand, like, make sure that all of your um, morals is all the same across the board. Because those brands I actually don't support. I don't do Uber. And I do not do Snapchat like um, I don't support those brands, but what I will say and what I'm also going to say is that I'm not going to be throwing out, you know, my Shea Moisture products. One, because I pay for it and it's still half full and it does wonders for my hair. So, um, <laughs> second, you know, I think Shea Moisture is honestly the least of my concerns when it comes. I think that I definitely will put them on ice for a little bit. Um, you know, if once my, these products run out, I'm probably going to experiment with another brand, but I won't completely write them off, but they learn their lesson a little bit and, you know, just, just feel that financial, you know, hurt, you know, for a moment. Like, don't you ever forget about the people who put you on. Don't you ever forget about this demographic. You know what I'm saying? So I think, um, I think that's how I'm going to end with that. So, but let me know, are you going to throw out your Shea Moisture products? Have you done it already? Or are you going to keep buying them, keep supporting them? Let me know. I want to know. Let me know in the comments. Let's start a conversation.